As you work in Lightroom, you might be nervous about backing up your edits. What happens if the catalog is corrupted, or if you want to hand the file off to someone else? Well, you can encapsulate all of those edits a couple of ways. Let's say we've selected a raw file and we've created an edit that we're happy with. I'm just going to tweak this just ever so slightly. Let's put a little bit of color grade there with a gentle blue cast and bring that out. Now what we could do is save that. From the photo menu, you could choose to save the metadata to the file. This is going to place it in a sidecar file next to the image. If we reveal this in the Finder or the Explorer, you'll see a file located next to it. There's the original RAW file, and there's the XMP data that contains all the settings. That works really well if you're going to hand this off to Photoshop, or you remember to move that RAW file with the sidecar file. But another method is to encapsulate these into one DNG file. With the file selected, you could choose to export to DNG. Just choose export and target your hard drive and set that to a DNG file. Now what it's going to do is encapsulate that. You can also specify an older version of Camera Raw if you're concerned about handoff. But keep in mind that some of the advanced settings, like the color grading we used here, might not hand off. I'll tell it to embed that all together and click export. Now I could save it to another folder, in this case my exports folder, and it's ready to hand off. While it looks strange in the Finder, if I open that up in another Adobe application like Photoshop, watch what happens. You see that all the settings were handed off in the RAW file. The crop, the adjustment, the color grade, everything is there. I'm free to tweak or modify this as needed, but everything I needed was handed off. When I click to open that object, it comes into Photoshop with the settings that were in the original Lightroom catalog. The use of the DNG format is great because it eliminates the need for the RAW file plus the sidecar file. It encapsulates that into one container that's easy to move around and hand off to other people. Now the DNG files and the settings are Adobe specific, so if you use another editing tool like Capture One or Luminar, it can open the RAW file but it won't be able to read those Adobe adjustments.